Hey guys, Bada Bing here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own GoPro night vision adapter. Um, really, uh, really inexpensive GoPro night vision adapter for the PVS7s. Um, so yeah, not all night vision optics are the same. So your mounting solution may be slightly different than how you actually attach it to the eyepieces. Um, but here's mine for the PVS7s. So for this custom job you can need four parts. Now that comprises obviously of the night vision goggles and the GoPro but to get, um, well to, to actually film straight through uh, the night vision goggles but still having the ability to look through uh, one of the uh, one of the objectives themselves uh, you're going to need one of these. Uh, this is basically one of those angle sights. It allows you to look straight through the optic if you plant this uh, behind a, a scope or an optic on a rifle. Uh, via its Picatinny rail attachment. Uh, you can look straight through the optic, um, but also it gives you opportunity to look on the side as well and aim around the corner like that. Uh, that's the kind of um, that's the kind of idea behind that one. And I think you can see where I'm going with this. So basically attach the GoPro to this and then somehow mount this to this here. And um, yeah. I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. So let's get cracking. Okay, one of the trade-offs with this particular system, because you're obviously attaching something to the back of the eyepiece right here, you're going to have, a, have to trade off um, the distance um, between your eye and the actual night vision device itself. So you're going to get a little bit less field of view, but it's one of those things you have to just accept if you're going to be running this particular type of uh, custom uh, mod. Uh, for your GoPro. Um, so yeah, uh, if we set that aside for now, and you can see on this right here, I've taken that off of the uh, the angle sight, and um, what it would have uh, is uh, an extension on here with a uh, with a rim, so it go all the way through to the other side, and there'd be a block there, so it wouldn't fall out at all. But I've since sawed that off and made it all nice and flush. So it sits halfway between the um, halfway between the bracket and the bracket will be clamped on in theory to this lip right here for the rubber eye cover on the uh, the night vision goggles. And that's Ethereum how to uh, to actually begin the custom process of having that attached to the night vision goggles. Now, if we remove that. You can see a ridge. I've dremeled all the way inside on there. It's very crudely done. I give it that but um, I've done it uh, Just for the time being uh, really quickly just to see uh, how it all works and how it all goes together But I'll, uh, I'll, I'll refresh that later and make it a bit more tidier, um, but for the moment it works Okay, and then you can see the bracket actually disassembled ready to mount onto the night vision goggles so if we take them right here and we can uh, just attach the first one around just like that uh, as you can see as I said before I need, I need to do a bit more um, dremeling work in there just so it sits nice and flush but other than that it's, it, it works for now and then the bottom half we just attach to the lower portion and then then you would put in these grub screws and the nuts and uh, and just uh, tighten the, uh, the nuts and bolts down so it all fits in nice and solid. Okay, so let's go away off camera and just do that now because it's a bit of a pain to get in. Okay, with the bracket attached, it's all ready to go. Um, I've got it loosely um, screwed in so it's, it's not too tight. Um, so it can accept the angle sight itself and there we go clicks into place just like that and you can then go ahead and use a grubs uh, an allen key sorry and just screw these in nice and tight so it secures uh, the prism um, to the uh, the device and it's it isn't really going anywhere I mean I can tighten that a little bit more but at the moment it should be fine and um, next step is trying to find a solution to mount the GoPro camera to the side here. So as you guys can probably tell with this modification you're going to have quite a little bit of room between your eye and the actual lens of the uh, the goggles itself so that's one thing you have to take into account when you do this modification you're going to have a hell of a lot of room between yourself and the night vision goggles so I'll 
obviously you're going to have a lot smaller field of view when you're running the goggles and or any other device that you choose to do this modification with so that's just to be aware of what you're getting into. So the question remains how do I attach the GoPro to the night vision goggles on the angle side? Well I was doing some digging around on eBay and I found this. It's a red diving filter which attaches to a GoPro Hero 4 like the one I have here. Um, as you can see I pre-modified that to actually uh, mount to the angle side so you have to excuse me for uh, skipping ahead of time. So it attaches to the top of the uh, well, to the to the GoPro itself and then locks down with that grub screw just there. And then uh, what I've done with this polycarbonate piece here, I've just uh, cut a big hole for the GoPro to view through because the red filter is way too dark. And uh, just two holes I've drilled there. And I don't have any countersunk screws. So what I've done is I've drilled a little bit uh, material off so that the web screws I do have can sit flush and won't damage the, the GoPro uh, lens right there. So that's what I've done. Unfortunately, um, the material on this lens isn't very good, the filter, so um, yeah, I'm going to have to replace that, but no worries because I've got some clear um, <clears throat> polycarbonate material, so I'm going to cut this piece out here and then attach it to this and then have the holes, uh, holes drilled and then attach it to my angle side, so stand by and let's get that done. Okay, there we go, we got the uh, the new polycarbonate piece all cut and uh, the holes drilled for the grub screws and are now secured to the angle site. Now I moved it over to this side only because um, the filter clamp uh, opens this way and with the sheer weight of the GoPro being attached to uh, the piece on the opposite side, it would tend to open outward just slightly just to get a, a, an off centre uh, video image. Um, but I moved it over to this side so it should be okay, um, although I might have to just uh, attach this a bit more firmly to this piece right here, either by using some epoxy glue or something like that, just to keep it all nice and flush. But never mind, for now let's just attach the GoPro to the angle sight, screw down this with the Allen key, this nice and tight, there we go, and there we go, it's all attached, uh, it's quite a weighty piece of kit, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it gives you the opportunity to film through your night vision goggles. So without further ado, let's switch her on and take it for a blast. Here we go. We're filming with the, uh, the GoPro right here. Uh, it's great. One of the first things you're going to see is that the image is actually off center. It's actually this way where it has to be over here. And the image is actually flipped because of course, I've just as you saw earlier I've got the prism in there and it's kind of banks in the image uh, straight through there and basically a mirror and this is actually a mirror as well so I'm gonna have to go in there and straighten that out so uh, if I just move the image uh, this way boom there we go and just flip the image like that and we should be all good to go so now this should be my left hand and that should be my right hand and you can see me in the mirror right here okay and as well i might need to actually zoom in here because you're getting about that much worth of uh of uh the field of view so let me just grab these and just and there we go e yeah um yeah pros and cons of the system uh let's do the cons first because let's just get those out of the way the system is quite heavy that's the first thing you notice the pvs 7s aren't exactly light uh, it's a dual tube thing into into the single objective at the front and plus you've got the other GoPro attachment right there so uh, with the head mount and everything you're gonna have to have a pretty substantial counterweight pouch at the back with some some weight in it just to keep everything uh, keep the balance in there uh, the other thing is the actual prism um, angle side right there you've got uh, an edge which digs right into your eyebrow because you want to have the the, uh, the PVS 7s moved as far back as possible so you can actually look through them. Um, the disadvantage is you're going to get the uh, it digging uh, on the corner right in your eyebrow, so that's something I have to go in there and sort of like sort of round off or something, and, or just take some material off just so it's a lot more comfortable to use uh, for long periods of time. Okay, now the cons 
it's allowing you to film through your night vision goggles. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, my previous uh, camera solution was a, uh, a iPhone um, adapter, which would obviously take one of the eyepieces away. So you just have the one eye to look through. Um, that was okay. But uh, when I was at a, an airsoft weekend a night game, I was running around with just one eye open and it was... It wasn't very good. I mean, it, it got me some pretty wicked shots when I was running around an HK45, just zapping people left, right, and centre. But really, I wanted both eyes open. And uh, the competitor uh, was offering theirs for about $400 plus. Dollars. That's no good, really. So I thought, screw it, I'll make my own. And here we go. So and you can't really go wrong for about £60 worth. Of, uh, of custom hacking and bodging all right in a little package like that so uh, I think it's gone really really well okay thanks for watching the video guys uh, any questions feel free to leave them down below or visit my Facebook page facebook.com forward slash badabing pictures and you can hit me up with the messages on there along with looking at uh, some other projects and things I've been working through in my own time um, but yeah thanks for the likes and subs it's all cool and I will catch you in a bit